All right, so today we're gonna to be installing the Lift 504, the BMF lift kit on the Yamaha G22. Um, as you can see here, we have the body removed from the Yamaha in order for just a better angle of being able to view us to see what I'm doing. Some of the tools that we're gonna be using today is a open-ended wrench, socket wrenches, impact gun, a rubber mallet. So the first thing we wanna do before we begin taking apart our front end of our G22 is we wanna make sure we have the switch in the toe position. We also want to make sure we have the rear wheel chock as well as the braking gauge. We're going to go ahead and remove the front bumper off first, then we're going to go ahead and jack it up, set it on stands, and then remove the tires and wheels. So now that we have our bumper off and our wheels off, we want to go ahead and Start by removing the knuckle arm from the tie rod end and the spindle. You want to make sure you remove the pins, the cotter pins from underneath first, and then we're just going to remove the, the bolt from the tie rod end. And the bolts from the spindle. Now that we remove the knuckle arm from the tie rod end and the spindle, we want to go ahead and remove our shock. You want to make sure you keep your hardware that you're removing. Alright, now that we've removed the shock and the spindle from the cart, we now want to remove the A-arm. We will be reutilizing these bolts. Before we remove the A-arms, what we have to do is we have to release the steering rack just to give us a little clearance on the rear bolts. Now you want to repeat the same process on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and line up our shock towers. So we can go ahead and make our mark to drill. What I would say is just go ahead and run the uh, factory bolt through. All right, like I said, just run the bolt through just so you have a good alignment. And now we're going to go ahead and make our mark using a pencil. We'll go ahead and marking our location point for our vertical mounting bolt. You may also want to use a center punch to clearly mark the drill location. Before we start drilling, you want to make sure you have your safety glasses on. We're going to be using a 316 drill bit to drill our pilot hole. And then once we have our pilot hole drilled, we're going to go ahead and use a 1332nd drill bit to actually drill the hole for our hardware. All right, now that we have our hole drilled, we're going to go ahead and mount up our shock tower. All right, now because obviously here normally there would be the body, we're going to run the bolt upwards through the hole that we drilled. And now you just want to repeat the same steps on the other side. Now that we have our shock towers mounted to our cart, we now want to install our AR frame. Now what you want to do before you go ahead and install your AR frame is you want to turn it upside down. There's going to be four bolts. You want to go ahead and loosen those up slightly. You don't want to take them out completely just to give you enough play to line up our mounting brackets. Okay, now that we have our brackets loosened up, I would suggest having somebody else help you out with this to go ahead and line up the actual A-arm to the frame. We're going to use our factory bolts that was holding up our original A-arm. Now that we have our A-arm attached to our cart, we want to go ahead and tighten down the bolts. We also want to reattach our steering rack and also tighten back the bolts that are holding our brackets to the cart. Now that we've reattached our steering rack to the cart, we want to go ahead and attach our shocks to our shock tower and to the AR. We're going to go ahead and install our factory shock back onto the cart. We're going to go ahead and attach it to the A-arm first and then secure it to the shock tower. 
We're going to be reusing the same uh, hardware that we originally took out from the factory A-arm to mount the shock on the bottom. And we're going to be using the hardware that came with your BMF lift kit to mount the shock to the shock tower. Now, we're, for right now, as you can see, there's three positioning holes here. This is for your camber adjustment. Um, for the time being, we're just going to go with the middle setting. All right, now that we have our shock mounted to our shock tower as well as to our A-arm, we're going to go ahead and attach our knuckle that came with the BMF lift kit onto our spindle. We're going to go ahead and line up our steering knuckle, drop the bolt that came with the BMF lift kit on top. All right, now that we have our knuckle attached to our spindle, we're going to go ahead and reconnect our tie rod end. And we're just reusing the same nut that we took off. This completes the installation of the driver's side portion of the BMF lift kit. You now want to repeat the same steps on the opposite side. Alright, now that we have our new wheels and tires on, this completes the installation of the front portion of our BMF lift kit. We now want to go ahead and turn the cart around and we're going to go ahead and start on the rear portion of our BMF lift kit. Alright, now that we have our cart turned around, again we want to go through the same process of making sure that our cart is in the toe position. And we also want to chop the wheels. Make sure the parking brake is on. Alright, we're going to go ahead. We're going to lift the cart up, we're going to secure it on the jack stands, we're then going to remove the tires and wheels, and then we're going to go ahead and start disassembling the rear portion of our suspension. Now we'll disconnect the rear suspension connecting rod, and then we'll be disconnecting the top two bolts that hold the shocks to the shock mounts. Keep in mind that for this video we are working on a cart without the body so when accessing the rear suspension rod as well as your top shock mount bolts you're going to have to remove the cover and then access the suspension rod from underneath of the cart. Be sure to retain the hardware because we will be reusing it again. I want to emphasize that the cart be in the toe position. Reason being is when we go ahead and drop this axle, this motor is going to tilt back and it could possibly make contact with the shock and you may short something out within your system. We now want to go ahead and put a jack underneath our rear axle to support the rear axle. Again, you want to retain the hardware. Now that we've disconnected the top of the shocks, we're going to go ahead and slowly lower the axle. Now that we've dropped our axle, we're going to go ahead and install our U-lift bracket. Very simply, you want the two part to go up and attach to the upper part of the frame. While your mounting tabs are at the bottom, which we'll, we'll reattach that to the shock here in a moment. Okay, now that we have our U lift bracket in place. I'm going to go ahead and use the hardware that's included in your BMF lift kit. Now that we have our U lift bracket secured to the to the cart, we want to go ahead and reattach our shocks to the mounting tabs. Best thing you can do here is just line it up and then slowly raise it. Now we're going to be using the same hardware initially attach the shock to the top mount. Now that we have our lift U bracket installed, we need to install our suspension rod bracket. We're going to place it underneath the chassis that's going across the back of the cart. We want to line it up with the bracket that was originally there for the rear suspension rod. We're using the hardware that was included in your BMF lift kit. Once we have 
it attached, we're going to go ahead and run our other bolt. So as you can see now, obviously I still have to go ahead and tighten everything down, but then we're going to run our bracket from that lower mounting point over back to the original bracket on the axle for the suspension rod. All right, now that we have our suspension rod bracket installed and secured, the last step is to reinstall the suspension rod the same way we took it off. So we're going to go ahead and line it up, use our factory bolt. All right, now that we finished the uh, rear portion of our BMF lift kit, the last step is to put on our new wheels and tires. All right, now that we have our wheels and tires on, we're going to go ahead and remove the jack stands and lower the, the cart back down. We're going to then turn it around and go ahead and do our camber and toe adjustments. All right, now the final step in the installation of our BMF lift kit is to check and adjust the camber and toe. First, we're going to ch check the camber and then we'll adjust the toe. To check for the camber, we're going to take a level and it flat against the side of the tire. So as you can see, it's a little too far in. So what we have to do is adjust our camber, as I noted in our earlier in the video, from the middle slot to the outside slot. That will bring it out slightly, give us a little bit more of an even uh, camber. Now that we've moved our camber adjustment, we're going to go ahead back and measure again. And we're more centered. Now it's okay if it's, sometimes you'll see it be a little bit out of the line. As far as the measuring, that's okay because when there's weight on the cart, the tires will come in a bit. Now that we have our camber adjusted, we want to go ahead now and adjust our toe. Uh, the way we're going to do that is we want to measure the back front of the tire from the middle point. And then we want to go ahead and measure the front. You're going to need an extra set of hands to help you with this, but again, when you're measuring, you want to line it to the center portion of the tire. And you want to be within an eighth to a quarter inch measurement back to front. So here we are about three inches off, three and a half inches off. So what we're going to do now is adjust our toe. Alright, what we're doing here now is we're just, we loosened up the locking nut on the tie rod end and we're just moving the tie rod end with a 13 millimeter open end wrench to adjust our toe. We want to adjust our steering rods evenly. Uh, so I've adjusted the driver's side, now I'm moving on to the passenger side to go ahead and make that adjustment. Once you feel that you have the proper toe, you want to go ahead and re-measure. Again, we want to be within an eighth to a quarter of an inch measurement from the back of the front tire to the front of the front tire and we are at a quarter of an inch once you have the proper once you have the proper measurement you want to go ahead and tighten down your locking nuts on the tie rod end and that will complete the toe and camber adjustment Okay, now once we adjusted the camber and toe, sometimes you might find that the steering wheel is a little bit out of alignment. What you want to do is take the cover off, take off the locking nut, pop the steering wheel off, center it, put the locking nut back down, and put the cover back on. This completes the installation of your BMF lift kit. Please enjoy safely.